WordPress Development and SEO, course by Rankia. I've decided to record the web development project that is in front of Rankia for a valued client. Within this course, freely available on Rankia YouTube channel, I will share with you proven expertise. The reason that you should follow through this video and understand the concepts is because Rankia has the experience. Furthermore, I'm actually a fully qualified web developer. That means I hold a diploma in web development and advanced diploma in systems engineering. Plus, I have 13 plus years experience working on websites and optimizing them. So, this course will teach you core concepts that must be thought of if we want to have a successful business website and not just another WordPress site. What this course will not teach you is internals of WordPress, as in create WordPress themes from scratch, or shows, show you internals of WordPress themes and so on, but rather show you how to have a website that's built on WordPress and fully search engine optimize. So let's go and learn what we need to. We don't want to make the honest mistake most so-called um, professional web developers make. And that is to go and install WordPress with few clicks, you know, register a domain, use a premium theme with dummy content. That's not what we want to do. Instead, we need to do our research first. In fact, this one sheet, there's a lot of details in that sheet. It has taken me a week to just have that one sheet because that is how important it is to see the project, as in the website built on WordPress that's optimized before you begin creating the website. Because each website must have only one ultimate objective. What that means is whether you're building a small business website or a local business website or an e-commerce site, you can accomplish your objective using various different ways, such as you may have a phone number, you may have a contact form, quote form, buy now button, for example. What you need to do is sit back and say, okay, you know what? I'm going to rely on Google Organic Rankings or Google AdWords. But when someone finds my website and interacts with it, what is that one single important objective? For this course, it will be to offer services for our valued uh, potential clients. Okay, so that is one ultimate objective that we want to focus on before we start creating the website and so on. Because knowing that will make everything else easy. Because we don't want a website. We want a business website that works. And it is fully search engine optimized. That means the first thing that you should do is your research into why your website will fulfill the needs and wants of your website traffic, as in people who are going to visit your website. Understanding that why will make everything else easy. You can do your keyword research. You can go online, look at review type of websites and read through the reviews. You can go online to your know, forums and so on. Anywhere your target audience participates in and understand what they want, what they are saying. Review type of website, you can think of, okay, what are the positive reviews? What are the negative reviews? Because all that's going to reveal 
why they will do business with your website. Okay, that is very important. Where are they located? Their age, their gender, what they do in life. As in, you have to envision them from morning till night. Who are they? Once you learn that, then developing a website and fully search engine optimizing it is a straightforward process. Now, keyword research, you can use Google Ads Keyword Planner Tool. You need to have Google Ads account, but you don't need to advertise. But rather use this tool. Any other so-called keyword, you know, spy keyword research type of programs are all full of BS, really, because only Google has the data that you want in terms of the keywords. So rank your YouTube channel shows you how to do keyword research. So I'm not going to waste time showing you that, but rather show you the, the project that we'll be working on, what I've done, as in, I've done the keyword research and looked at all the potential keywords that will be good enough for us to start. Because at the beginning, even if you're advertising with Google Ads, you cannot target every single keyword and rank them. That's why you need to sit down and say, okay, out of the keyword research project that you've done with Google Ads, looking at the keywords, looking at the average monthly searches, understanding how to stem keywords from others is, is gonna make your job easy. Because now, once you work that out, then how you develop the website, how you optimize it will be easy. Because this is the first step. You cannot choose every single one of them but rather look at the keywords and say, okay, if I was to target these and rank them, which of these keywords are the most important? For example, if someone's asking for, let's say, let's search for cost, all the keywords that has the keyword cost within it, what does that say? That means someone must have done their online research they want to get the service, but they're rather worried about the cost or they want to find out how much that's going to cost. And our website can communicate that and rank those type of keywords knowing someone's in a different stage of interaction if the keyword uses cost within it. Cost to tint car windows. Someone may be in UK searching for that and my valued client located in Brisbane someone in UK will probably never become our customer or valued customer right that's irrelevant what's relevant is that we understand to choose the keywords correctly here when you do your keyword research you will also have ideas for creating content for blogs because WordPress offers you easy options to create blogs, as in blog posts. So what I tend to do for each project is I first look at the keyword planner tool, find the keywords, look at the ones that I'm interested in, and then go to Google search box and conduct manual keyword research. Because now, looking at these keywords, my understanding of my target audience expands. My understanding as to what I'm going to communicate, what I'm going to show on the website, becomes very easy. Because knowing this is the only way to search engine optimize a WordPress site. Because the way we communicate, the way we use images, and optimize them it's all going to be related to the keywords that we want to target as in keywords our potential um, website traffic is searching for because when we know that then we can communicate 
effectively to fulfill our ultimate objective. In 2022, we also need to consider mobile side of internet. As in how people interact with websites, we need to think, okay, we've done our research, we know who we're targeting, we know the type of keywords they're searching for, and now we work out, okay, you know what, I've learned all that, I know who they are, I know the target keywords, now, I know my ultimate objective, how in the world do I accomplish that? through my website as in yeah think it like this each web page people can find you through right they are never gonna just look at your home page people gonna find you from your blog posts people gonna find your websites by searching google's image search people gonna find your website inner pages contact page as in when they land, they can land anywhere. As in they can land on any web page. So now, knowing that, you have to then say, okay, if my ultimate objective is like getting them to, you know, get the services from me or buy something, how do I create the website so that the flow of their interaction goes to that objective make sense that's very important because if we design our front page as a home page thinking you know what that's the most important then we make a mistake we have to anticipate you know what they may find us from blog posts they may find us from our services page so we now need to create it in such way that it doesn't matter what web page they land on the flow as in you guide that visitor to your ultimate objective so all roads as in all your efforts must be geared towards that one ultimate objective so you've done your customer profiling you've done your keyword research and i've shared some tips with you as to how to go about that. Rank Your YouTube channel has keyword research tutorials. So now let's go and see the next step because this video session and the insights within it is the most important for any web development project. And I'll talk with you in the next video session.